So today we'll be learning how you can achieve um, OTP text input field kind of uh, view in React Native. So in last video we talked how to just auto read SMS or auto, how to just auto read an OTP. Okay. So in this video we are achieving this kind of text view in here. Like you can just style it in whatever the way you want. For that, we are, we are just using this library known as React Native ODP Text Input. Okay, so just copy this and go to the terminal and just paste it in here. And I don't know why, but by recording this screen with the typing, like it's it really sounds much louder than it actually is. So. I'm really sorry for that like I just like it is almost uh, like very si silent uh, when I'm listening to it but uh, on recording I don't know why it, it sounds so loud for the first time I just heard it yesterday after recording the video I just I was just listening I, I was just watching the video myself so I at that time I noticed that it was way too louder like so like it was annoying but sorry for that I apologize for that maybe in future like I'll be upgrading the keyboard I'll be using some magic keyboard or something like that then some external keyboard maybe so at that time it may be like it may sound less like less louder or something i don't know but let's see okay we have installed the uh, the package now for using it we have to now uh, import it okay they have not given anything where the, from where are we supposed like okay Let's see the documentation. Okay, I think we have to do everything by ourselves. So here I'll just write down import OTP text input. OTP text view. Maybe? No. It's input. Input from React Native text input. Okay, that's that's okay, but let's see. Text, and we already have an error here. Okay, so just like don't pay attention to it. That's useless. Like it just goes when I just refresh the page. It is some something related to regex, but okay. Here you can see that we have this nice ODP kind of thing. You're not able to see anything because the, uh, the color of the text is black and the background is black as well. Let me just make it white. Now I hope you can see that. Like if someone's not kind of like is so if someone don't have any vision problem then you can see it right so you can just style it in any way you want using these props like default value handle text change input count tint color off tint color container style let me just show you this container style okay container style equals um, for example let's say um, background color red you can see we, we, we have this container and if you are thinking that how are we supposed to make it um, round or how are we supposed to make every input field 
I'm a square. Then we have another prop known as text input style. Just copy this and paste it in here. And now you have this amazing thing. Um, see, you have made it like you have made these squares. Or you, what you can do is like to really give this um, a typical ODP input field view. You can just make the border color, border color of um, maybe black. And is it a property, by the way? Border width of one. See, you can like I I think you can see that we have this thing here. Now there is one problem: the active um, box is green but everything else is kind of gray you can see that right now we don't want that to happen we just want every text input field to be of same color now for that we have this um, off tint and tint color okay tint color is the focused text input let me just show you what i'm talking about if I just make it red then you can see that active text input view is going to be of that color and if I set off tint color to red as well then you can see that we have all the text input fields of same color so you can just make them both gray so that they look good or in case you're a black lover so you can just make them black okay so what if you just want them to be round you can just make border radius of like like the number should be big enough okay see if you have these squares nice square and if you just reduce it to something six maybe we have these nice curved squares okay now the ready like again this is the kind of um, the air with this regex kind of thing like it keeps happening like I'm, I'm just solving it I don't know why is it happening if you guys know why is it happening then you can just let me know it is because it, it is like this function is getting rendered and this is empty kind like yeah th that is what i can guess so far because it is null right now and we are uh, not able to apply anything like on that any regex on null so it is really unrelatable to this um tutorial okay we are just talking about this now there is one more thing you might be thinking why are these black bottom border there these big wide black border at the bottom if you have to remove them you just have to maybe make border bottom width one maybe see we have everything equal now so this is how you can make like you can style them and for a default value or just value like you can value maybe kind of you can we are not using that but let me show you you can just say default value to be otp and let's just make it to six okay you can change it from input count you can use this prop input count and just write down six here 
see you have six input fields now here I think as soon as I send the message something should happen and that is not really great no it's not an object okay like we'll just see that in some other video but for now my objective was to show you guys how you can achieve this ODP input field and there is another library like another package which is really good and like I'll show you that in um, some next video like this one's not that good but it, like if you want to use this you can use this and if you want to use that library which I'll be showing you in next video maybe then you can just use that but for now my whole purpose was just to show you that there is something like this that you can use in your application so that was it for today and have a good day